Welcome, welcome to my live. You are with Beth's Classy Chalking. And I have some unboxing to do today. So about a month ago, there was a contest through Chalk Tour, and I love this business. They are so good to us. So they offered a prize that we could win if we met our goals by the 15th of September. So if you had your, I don't, I can't remember if it was 150, you had to have 150 in your sales by the 15th, your name went into the pot to win some prizes and they were transfers, $100 worth of retired transfers. So those are the silk screens that we use to create all of our wonderful, beautiful um, signs and like the ones on the wall behind me. So I being kind of new with the company, I haven't even been there a year yet, um, almost though, I did not think I had very much of a chance and I got this lovely email about three weeks ago that said I was one of the winners. So I am gonna show you what they sent me and I am so surprised. So I'm gonna start with a small, ones that are on the top in my envelope over here oft set okay this one is a holly jolly silk screen and it's so cute it's got like the little stitching on it adorable i don't remember our transfers being this size like a square size like this so this was definitely retired or created more than a, a year ago because i've been with the company that long. So that one came. Peace, Joy, Believe. This one is a five by seven size. Kind of like that distressed look. So where you're seeing the white is where when you squeegee chalk paste over, it'll stick to the board. So that's the Peace, Joy, Believe. I actually remember this one last year before it went and that one's neat. This one is called Snowflakes. So cute, right? Different sized. Can you imagine doing this with white chalk paste on your windows? Adorable. Love it. I am just in heaven with this. Then another Let It Snow with a snowflake. This is the 9 by 12 size. So super cute, and I'm not done yet. I If I would have gotten this, I would have been so tickled and so excited to have won this much, but there's more. There's more. Now, this one's called Winter, Winter Wood Land Scene, and I have never seen this before. It is so adorable. Now, one thing when my family moved um, up to Michigan about five years ago, 2015. I could not believe the difference between where I lived in Ohio and where I live now, my drive to work, how many woodland creatures I see on my drive. And I tell you what, I don't think in my lifetime, because I'm a city girl kind of, that I have seen very many animals than what I've seen in the last five years. So I love this transfer. So there's an owl, you got your bear and your baby cub, you got a fox and a rabbit, squirrel. This is a, okay, now we're testing my knowledge on animals here. This is a, it's not a woodchuck. Is this a beaver? It might be a woodchuck. There's another squirrel here, a bird, what is this? A deer without its antlers, a deer and a moose. And then you have some birch trees. And here's one um, upside down there. You've got some Christmas trees. You've got another full one there. And then some different little high grasses. And then you can do these stars and things in the sky, which is really cute. Let me show you up close. So see those little like nighttime sky scenes? There's the grasses. 
there's our little moose friend and deer. Aren't these adorable? I love it. Love it. Mama bear, baby bear, birch trees. So that came with my set and I'm not done yet. The prize gets bigger. All right, so this is Reindeer Feed Company. Isn't this cute? Wouldn't this make an adorable pillow? So this is our 18 inch by 18 inch. So you could do a big pillow and use our ink and make this, or you could put this on a board, but so, so cute. So right now we are up to one, two, three, four, five, six transfers that are retired that were in my prize bundle and I'm still not done. Okay, so there is, we gotta make room for this one. So there is six, right? Dun, 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 this is the big one. Oh, I love this one. So this is our e-size transfer. It's a really big one. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I actually really love this transfer. This is the size of our biggest transfers. So this one is 18 by 24 inches. It's our size E. It's the biggest one. And then counting backwards, then this 18 by 18 is our D size transfer. 12 by 18, this one is our C size transfer. So that's then the nine by 12 or eight and a half by 11, whatever you want to say. These are our B size. And then these two little guys are A size transfers. So can you even believe that my prize had seven transfers in it? I love this company. I love it. Love it, love it. Hi, Candice. Welcome, welcome. So, Candice, this was my prize um, mid September. Isn't this great? It is my first prize ever with the company, and I love it. So, as my gift to you, a few of these retired transfers are going to be available for prizes in my customer VIP group. Yes, I am sharing the love with you all because you are what make me thrive in my business. You watching and you guys commenting and you buying products, you are the heart of my business. I love you guys and you are going to be able to have chances to win these. So that's it for my unboxing. Let me put these away and then I'll get to what my project is today. All right, so those lovely things. All right, so I am going to unbox my Club Couture transfer of the month. It came in the mail today. A little bit of a issue there. Oh, how cute is that? Awesome. So if you are not a Club Couture member, you should seriously think about it. So this is a transfer of the month club. So every month, beginning of the month, yours will get mailed out. Yours are going to be different than me because I'm a designer. So you're going to get more stuff than I do. You get this transfer plus a few paste pouches that are enough to do the project and a little more. And for $19.99 a month, it is a great thing to get in on. So I'm going to chalk this today so excited and these transfers are not available for other people to purchase they're only for club club couture members so if you are not a club couture member you might want to be some really unique and cute stuff all right so i'm going to unbox my sylvie white board frame uh, honey can you hand me my scissors <laughs> Okay, uh, that awkward moment when you're live, and I forgot that I moved all my scissors. Um, it's it's actually over. It's not on this table. Never mind. Let me see if my transfer scissors will work. I put my other scissors. I believe they're still in the kitchen. 
All right, I'm gonna use my transfer transfer trimmers. They're, they'll break tape at least, right? I don't wanna don't wanna ruin them. I'm good. I'm good, honey. Thank you. Sometimes it's nice to have an extra hand. All right. So this is a nine by twelve. Sylvie is the name of the boutique board. And a boutique board is an awesome wonder and marvel in itself. And I'll tell you why. It is reusable. And who doesn't like reusable? In this day and age, reusable is awesome. Our transfers, our silk screens are reusable. A lot of our boards are reusable. I love it. So I'm going to explain to you. As I'm creating, I'm pulling off these little corner protector cardboard things that are stapled on. I try to get the whole staple with it so that we don't. Okay, all right. Of course, the last one did not come out. Here, let me get my. Hey, Andy. Where's that screwdriver at? I need a screwdriver. Sorry, guys. I am like, okay, it's right this corner right there. Do you feel that right there? As I'm trying to pull a staple out. <laughs> okay, so, so the Sylvie board is a boutique board, and our boutique boards are really cool. Um, so this one's got the chalkboard finish in the middle. So the actual 9 by 12 size that the board says that it is, is the inside measurement. So it's the blackboard surface that's the 9 by 12. And it comes with two sawtooth brackets on the back. So you can either do it landscape or make it portrait level. All right. And our little signature little stamp there. The nice part about this board, I'm gonna to try to lift it up so you can see this texture. Can you see that texture on there? So the texture helps grab a hold of the chalk paste when you put the chalk paste through that silk screen and onto this board, that texture helps hold on to that chalk. And that will, the chalk paste will dry and harden in like five minutes and be smudge and smear proof and ready to go. So I can do this acorn on this board today. And if I get tired with it next month and I want to put something Thanksgiving or um, even in a couple weeks, if I want to do something else, I can reactivate my chalk paste by spritzing this down with water, wiping it off with a paper towel or a disinfectant wipe, dry it, and then I can do something else on it, which I love. Who doesn't love that? So that's a good question, Candace. Should our, should our boards be waxed first? They don't need to be. These surfaces, um, like back in the day when the boards were first made, they did tell you to wax them. But we had been doing that for so long that we were finding out that they were improving our boards so well that just fuzzing the brand new transfer was enough and I have not had any issues with that. If you are one of those people that you just want to wax everything before you use it so that your transfers will hold up over time and last and last longer than what they say they will, I mean this one if I take really good care of it, I clean it really well, I can wash it with water and clean it with a Clorox wipe on both sides and, and let it dry sticky side up and then stick it back to its backer sheet and put it back in its envelope, hang it back up where my open transfers are. And I can use this um, 12 to 14 times is usually an average of what you can do. I take a lot of my transfers to my workshop and I have chalk nights twice a month. And I let my customers use all my open transfers and all my open chalk paste to design their little heart's content on Friday nights. So I think, do you have, do you, do you um, wax your new boards, Candace, all of them? 
Is that something that you used to do? I tell you what, my sister is who trained me. And I know for sure when we've used surfaces like wooden boards that she swears by using the wax. So, and, and even though we have those little like chapstick size tubes of wax that Chocotour sells, we've also had the little quart size cans of like the Minwax furniture wax, which does the same thing. It's basically virtually the same thing. And I love that. Yes, layering things, you're right. Layers are a little bit tricky. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm laying out my fuzzing cloth. This is terry cloth on one side and then microfiber on the other. And because this is a new transfer, it's really sticky. So I'm going to try to pick up a little bit of fuzz on the back of it with this terry cloth. It just, it just gives it a little bit of a skin on it with the fuzz so that it doesn't stick so good to my board that I have trouble peeling it back. So there we go. It's my silk screen, nice and ready to go. And I'll, I'll lift that up so that the camera can see. So I've got a little bit of a fuzz on that sticky green, teal color. And then you can see that white area is my silk screen. So I want to protect that. All right, so always check to make sure you have your bracket in the right place. And I do, it's right there. So, because I have totally gone to town chalking my board and then realized it was upside down the whole time. And that is disappointing to find out. All right, so let me get this going. You know, I'm one of those people that whenever I have some kind of a themed transfer, I always have to look at images online to, to get the coloring just right. And acorns. There are so many kinds of acorns, and the coloring is just so precise based on it. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of color mixing on this one. Right now, I am just making sure I don't have any wrinkles, wrinkles or bubbles, so that when I apply my chalk paste, I am good to go. All right, let me explain a little bit about my tools. So I've got some different squeegees. I have an angled squeegee. I have my small squeegee, I've got my mini squeegee, and then I've got mini squeegees that I've cut in half, just in case I need some little things. And then we also have a multi-tool. This one I like, it's almost like the shape of the Tupperware orange peeler, but it's got a thin end here and a thin end here that are good for getting into details. So those are my tools, and then I've got chalk paste. These are the size, the container. It's about three ounces. I pulled out papaya. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know what you call that. I don't know. It's like acorn color to me. So that one for sure. I've got the fawn. Might mix a little bit of that in. I've got regular bark brown. And then this one's called iced coffee. And I'm kind of thinking a combination of these might work to do this beautiful acorn. I know I love the multi-tool as well. It is one of my favorite. All right, I think I'm talking too much, so I'm getting thirsty. Excuse me for that. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my papaya. Give it a good stir. So your chalk paste, when you open it, should always be a consistency of like maybe sour cream or yogurt. And if it's thicker than that, it is water soluble. So you can do a little squirt of water. That's what I have in my green bottle. And you can thin it out a little. Now too thin is bad. Too thick is bad. So... It's one of those things that you will figure out and learn doing chalking. You just have like 
as you're stirring it, you're just like, okay, I know for sure, I know for sure it feels the right consistency. So that is, it's a hard thing to teach because for everybody, it's going to be a little bit different. That one, I'm going to get my iced. Okay, so my iced coffee is my next color. Sometimes when you open, if you haven't used it in a week or so, you have to give it a good stir. This one seemed like it got lots of bubbles on it. Yeah. Hmm? Okay, so if you add too much water, what you can do, and this is what I do, I leave the lid off for that paste. If I have a backup one, I'll use that instead. Like if it's white, I have multiple whites that are open. So I leave the lid off. That, for me, lets that air mix into it and get it a little bit drier. And that always helps. All right, let me move my questions down. Oh, Homecoming, that is awesome. Who did you play? Did you guys play Bellevue last night, Bobby? Uh, was it the, what, what do they call that, the um, Route 20 something or other? <laughs> All right, Bobby, you got to answer my question <laughs> when you get to it. Hilarious. So from where I'm from, originally from Bellevue, Ohio, Candace is the next town, or not Candace, Bobby is the next town over Clyde, and they are Bellevue rivals for sure. The Battle of Route 20 or something like that, they called it. Oh, Perkins. Hey, just that's a good one too. Perkins is a good one to play. Holy moly. All right, so I'm getting all my chalk paste stirred ready to go so that I can then do a little bit of mixing. Yeah, it's always easier, Candace, I feel, to just add a little bit of water at a time and stir it in rather than accidentally put an extra squirt of water in and then have it be too much so oh cool did I, I don't even know we can't get the game up here so how did they do I didn't even see how Bellevue and Clyde did hi Renee welcome welcome I have my club couture transfer that came in the mail today so I am getting ready to do this happy fall -a days Get it? fall -a days Happy fall -a days acorn. All right. So I think this papaya is a great kind of orangey, rusty color. And that's usually what the acorn base is. And I wanted to add a little bit of brown to it. So I'm going to kind of mix right on my board. So... I'm going to get some of this papaya, put it over here on this teal section, and then some of the brown. So I want to mix that in a little and then pull that through. All right, so you don't have to mix it all the way. You can kind of leave it a little bit swirly like that. And then we're just going to pull that through our beautiful silk screen sorry sorry about that sorry about that too my phone it did not turn off notifications all right let me i think i got too much of this chalk let me scoop some of this off do 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 hi mom 
my mom's on here, you all. Can you believe that? My mother is watching me on my live. I love this. I hope this really turns out cool. Right now, I am smoothing out the chalk and wiping off the excess of it because I do kind of a little trick to dry a section and then go back. And that's right where I'm at. Okay, so what I want to do is take my, take a cloth that's clean, lay it there, and then I'm just going to peel up this part. I'm not going to take the whole thing off. I'm just going to peel that part up that I just did. And I'm going to real quick dry this section. I think that looks really good. That is a really pretty acorn color. I'll have to, oops, this is not. Okay. Got to have it connected to the electric for it to work. <laughs> My husband's laughing, but these things happen when I'm live sometimes. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of sound here for my dryer. I am being really careful to only do kind of cool air near my transfer because our transfers are made out of vinyl and we want, we won against Perkins and Bellevue has not lost a conference game that I know of. That is awesome. That's awesome. So I'm pushing my button that puts cool air out of my blow dryer so that it will not melt my vinyl transfer. Oh, I really love this color, you guys. Thank you, Candice. That's awesome. All right. All right, so once that's dry, that feels good, nice and cool. I'm going to put the transfer back down and kind of loosely because I don't need this part to be down on it that tightly. I'm going to move a few colors to the side here. Now up here at the top, I'm just going to make sure this part's still down smooth. Just kind of go... All these little teal colors are the part that has the adhesive on it. So I'm just going to make sure I don't have any bubbles or wrinkles. Okay, check my consistency. Because I definitely want my iced coffee. This time I'm not going to put as much down because I felt like I was wasting what I used last. If I would have had one of my empty containers, I would have stuck it in there. All right, so this cap... I'm gonna mix some of the bark with the iced coffee and not quite stir it all the way. I just like the swirls that it makes. So now we're gonna work this in on this acorn cap. And get all of that covered. And then I have a little pan of water over here for my transfer to go in when I'm done. So I'm just putting this on the edge over here. Smooth that out. Make sure I have it all smooth and covering all areas. That looks really good. All right, time to peel for the reveal here. Okay, and in the water, this one goes. Oh, I think my son, my son Joe is home from work. Hey, Joe. I had to park in one of the like front spots. Yeah. yeah because all the other spots were taken. Yeah, okay. You should, yeah, you should be fine. It wasn't a handicap spot, was it? Uh, that's the only thing you want to make sure. So. Yeah, don't park in handicap. That's the only bad thing. Yeah, we have limited parking in our neighborhood. All right, I'm just touching up a little 
lying along here on the top of my acorn, I had a little bit of the iced coffee blend get into the lower part. So I'm just taking a really skinny, skinny, skinny paintbrush and touching that up. Oh, I gotta move my, I gotta move my page down, honey. Hold on. It starts to move, move on me. And if I don't pull the comments down, I don't see them. Looks good. Thanks, Bobby. Wow, perfect. Thanks, Candace. Wonderful. Oh, Grandma says hi, Joe. Did Laura, and she, and she said, did you bring me a pizza? Oh, is she watching? Yes, her favorite is okay. So he works at Domino's. Yo, what up, Grandma? And she loves the thin and crispy pizza there. So. She keeps telling me to tell him so one of these times, get her a pepperoni thin and crispy and take it to her, Joe. <laughs> I should. You should. Well, guys, all right, let me real quick hit the acorn cap with a dryer. Now it doesn't matter if I have warm um, heat or anything. It's, it's, it's good. You can use whatever you would like so it will dry naturally in the air by itself i just like to a little bit speed that up with the hair dryer so i can show you now the chalk paste is really pretty good to its color and doesn't change much when it dries it lightens it a little bit more but anyway, I don't know if you can see any of the swirling of the colors. I know you can see a little bit of the edge of it. You can see kind of like the distressed letters, how it looks a little bit splotchy in the middle. Just like a distressed board would be. And the details on this are just right. Love it. So that is our Club Couture transfer of the month this month for October. And really cool. And let me tell you more. Sorry about the train in the background. Gosh, doesn't matter if I'm in Bellevue or if I'm here in Michigan. I've got train sounds everywhere I go. Okay, so this is my little, this is my little spiel, I tell you. All right, so love and share this live as much as you want to, to let your friends and family know all about Chalk Couture and Best Classy Chalking. And if they are not Facebook people, tell them to go to my YouTube channel, It's Best Classy Chalking, and subscribe. Um, if you are interested in getting a transfer of the month, it's usually this size transfer. So it's like a nine by 12 size and you'll get it every month. It's $19.99 to join. Bobby is in our club and you can get that delivered to your house. It comes with chalk paste pouches instead of the big three ounce chalk paste, but you can get squeegees and you can get, um, placement tape and whatever tools you need from my my website which which is chalkcouture.com and then it is wait the other way slash beth missler all lowercase letters if you're interested in doing what i do put join in the comments and i will send you a link so you can check it all out thank you for sharing bobby um, if you would like to do Club Couture and check out what that's all about, just put in the comments club and I'll send you a link so you can read all the fine print about it. And if you are not in my customer VIP, please comment, add me, and I will, I will send the link so you can join. And then you'll get good deals and specials on all kinds of things. I thought the train... Well, oh, you thought the train was here. That's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. So yes, right where I'm at right now, the train is really super close. And I have my um, door, like the screen slider um, open. So 
that's that's why the train is so loud right now but I'm used to it I grew up in Bellevue most of my life and having a train yard there trains were in the background my whole life okay okay Candace all right well, thank you so much for watching. And I tell you what, if you ever are people that want to join Chalk Couture business, just comment on any of my videos, join, and I'll send you a link to check it out. They're a really good company. I love working for them, and I love the products. So you all have a great Saturday night. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye now.